Hi folks, hope you're okay. We're looking at Cornelius Van Til and Presuppositional Apologetics by uh, this guy, Colin Brown. And um, we've looked, thought about natural theology. Van Til sees the history of secular philosophy as a massive commentary on the Apostle Paul's observation to the Corinthians Christians. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God, it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. In other words, men have been looking for God in the wrong place and in the wrong way. On the other hand, Van Til argues the eternal power and Godhead of Paul Gospels are clearly visible to all men everywhere. It is not as though the evidence shows that a God exists or that God probably exists. If such were the case, there were, would be some excuse for man if he did not bow before his maker. Paul makes bold to a claim that all men know deep down in their hearts that they are cre creatures of God and have sinned against God and the Creator. For Van Til, therefore, the point of contact between the Christian message and the non-Christian world is head, and head on collision. There can be no position of neutrality. Not only does the Gospel reveal God, but every single fact is in existence does so too. For all things are created and controlled by God, and such they are part of his purpose for the universe, to such they reveal him. When confronted by the gospel, men cannot react neutrally towards it, they must accept it or suppress it because they do not want to believe it. Paul knows that those who cling to the wisdom of the world do so against their better judgment and with an evil conscience. The task of the Christian apologetics is, apologetics is not to try to discover some neutral common ground on which the believer and the unbeliever may stand, but this fails to appreciate that the unbeliever is already aware of God's existence and his own responsibility before God. The task is to force him to face up to, to this and to show that there are no legitimate escape routes. In other words, it is to lay bare the presuppositions of our thinking. Van Til does not believe in the old proofs of the existence of God. The existence of the God of Christian theism is presupposed by all rational thought and behaviour.